These little poppies are popping up finally. Remember the last time? Yeah. Got garlic in here. And that, right in there, is an onion that I thought I had given up the ghost. And look at it, it's coming up. Boom, bam! Look at my potatoes. Oh, love it. I think these are going to be blackberries or raspberries. Oh, they look like it. We got melons growing down here, cantaloupes. They haven't really flourished yet. But we've been eating a lot of tomatoes. Is there any more growing in here? We plucked most of them off. Up, oh, there's one more down there. More cantaloupe, which is finally flourishing. Oh yeah. I water these again. And we've got more than Yeah, that one's bigger now. There's a, a few more growing on here. Here's the tomatoes that you can see. More garlic. More garlic. I guess I like garlic. Yeah, it always has to be windy when I'm uh, trying to come in the house, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. We've been getting rain finally. Like real rain. Imagine that. Rain. Oh, last night we got maybe inch and a half of rain, I would guess. And it feels so good to get the rain. <clears throat> Let's just say we need about 20 times the rain around here than we get because it's just not enough. But yeah, the rainy season is coming. Maybe we'll be doing some 4x4 truck talking. Hope you guys like that kind of thing. I mean, I'd like some input from more than just one or two people. It actually helps the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much. Hope all you guys are being blessed and inspired. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching me, this channel. I really appreciate it. We're going to share a lot of knowledge with each other. Everything to do with prepping. My style is to stockpile food, of course. But the thing is, after you've run out of food, what do you do? I mean, you go out, you, you have to grow your own food. I'm just telling you that right now. You have to grow your own food and start now. It's a learning curve. You think you're going to just put the seeds in the ground or the trees in the ground and they're going to flourish? No. Unfortunately, they're going to get every plague known to man, locusts, uh, mold, fungus, ants, um, flies are going to go in the fruit. And so you have to practice now <laughs> and hunting. You know, let's say that uh, things hit the fan and there's no more food in the stores or hardly any. Well, a lot of hunters are gonna be hunting out there and they're gonna take all the game. And so it's gonna be like the extinction of the buffalo again, except it'll be deer and elk and bear, and coyote, every animal here. Cause there's so many people but my style is growing my own and also, you know, hunting and fishing. Now, for this one second, I'm going to bring up how the Constitution in the U.S. is kind of pwned because of the Patriot Act. And we all know about that. So if you... 
want to go hunting, that is an issue. Boy, what a what a great help uh, Joe Biden is, right? Let's let's see how many. Let's see, let's see how many how many times have they said we gotta take guns out the street? One, two, because we got Clinton and we got Obama, and let's see. I mean, I'm, I think just about every president, and of course now we got brilliant Biden. Brilliant Biden. So, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you already have all kinds of defensive weapons, but do you have alternatives to those? Because, I mean, I'm sure you don't want to kill every single person that trespasses on your property. In an upcoming video, I'm going to uh, try to make my own pepper spray because I don't know if anyone has ever had pepper spray on them or by accident or something but it's not very powerful actually it's kind of tingly it doesn't do much but have you ever gotten a habanero like in your mouth where it's supposed to be and then even worse you accidentally get it in your eye yeah you feel like going to the er so i'm gonna try to make some special sauce see if that works and who knows i might even be crazy enough to test it on myself in an upcoming video watch for that because that makes sense. But yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of testing and uh, uh, proofs of, proof of concepts around here. This cabin itself was a proof of concept. I don't know if you guys noticed when I was building it, but the uh, kitchen part on the outside and the inside is like this because it's like an arrow, the top of the hill is that way. When water, run, when water runs down, it hits the house and diverts around it. So the things I'm doing here make sense. And pretty much everything I've done so far has worked. But yeah, it's a, it's a, a learning curve doing growing your own food. You definitely have to practice now and get really good at it. Fertilizer. How great is that? Your soil might need different kinds of fertilizer. Ours needs lots of um, nitrogen around here. The soil is kind of poor. It's basically soil that's made for cactus and uh, mesquite trees and the stuff that in grass. Potatoes. Well, when this, I definitely should go show you what the potatoes look like. Do you remember the video I did? about in the life of a prepper, my potato plants like this. And that was that, two, three weeks ago. So I definitely recommend growing potatoes. Again, about the constitution and the, um, the right to bear arms, it shall not be infringed. England, they outlawed all kinds of firearms to save you from yourself. Adults, to save adults from themselves, using other adults to make the decisions, because, yeah, that's, that's stupid. <clears throat> and then, they, um, I think there was some law a couple years back where they actually were, I mean, all these different knives became illegal. At what point are they finally going to say, you all are just violent. We're going to drug all of you. Look how well that has turned out for our youth and the reason for all the school shootings. It's not just because they're crammed together in, in small quarters, which will drive anybody crazy. Think of rat exper experiments where they put them close together in cages and they just, I mean, especially when each cage has a lot in them, they, they don't act like rats anymore. They act like murderers. Right? So what do they give your kid? Some magical skittles for their ADHD. Because school's not boring. You know, 
8 plus 8 is 16. You know, the capital of France is Paris. I mean, teach you how to spell and some math, but other than that, they're just teaching you stuff that uh, an elementary kid would not care about at all. So the mind waters, wanders, and they say, well, this kid has uh, is disturbed and, and can't pay attention. We need to give them skills and antidepressants to make them better. It really saddens me because <clears throat> these children just aren't the type of kid that was uh, violent. Maybe a little angry, a little bored, hyperactive, but not violent like that. And taking away everything that could hurt you in the end would mean no rights. So where does that end? It should have ended a long time ago. And education does help with freedom is comes a little bit of danger sure we should be warned about all of the dangers that we may not be aware of but when you don't heed those dangers in the end that's your fault so who are we going to vote for next time the lesser of two evils what well, you know, if I had to choose which hand of the, or which wing of the same bird, you know, left wing, right wing to choose, I would say right wing, of course. But they're not doing anything either. So, you know, keep choosing the same thing over and over. But what you have to do really is you have to be your own boss now. Let's face it. The system doesn't take care of you the way it should or could. I don't think the president has enough power to actually do the things that they uh, promised to do. Talking about presidents, governors, but they make these promises. It's like, why would you promise something? It's crazy. It took me like about a year to build this cabin because we didn't, we had a very limited income. A regular person could have built this in a month. So it's not impossible for you guys to put some of your uh, money that you have into crypto and gold and in all the preps that you're going to want to bring with you you might want to move down to mexico because i mean it's not like their government isn't corrupt but they just don't have the power that the u.s government has so in the end i mean you pretty much can just walk away um and i mean most of the people there Houses are built kind of like mine with, you know, steel doors where the latches actually go into reinforced concrete. So to break it down is hard. Sometimes the answers are a hard option. And I don't think we can walk away um, from this in a soft way. We can't vote harder. Uh, I mean, it's like, you serious? Again, they want to take your gun rights. We're just going to limit. We're just going to limit the capacity. That'll stop violence. Cause, because it's impossible to, like, um, get a magazine that holds more. It's impossible to stab somebody. It's impossible to run somebody over. It's impossible to poison somebody. Yeah. They don't want you to be able to defend yourself. I don't know if you know about the, um, about history. I think the Bolshevik revolution in Russia, all that stuff, they wanted to take guns away and they did. Germany, during the uh, uh, reign of the Nazis, took guns away. 
so that they could get it done. You know, the takeover of the people. More power to the government. You don't want that. Come on, you guys. Every time we allow a right to be taken away, it's just one step further into the grave. And we have the power to just leap out and start fresh again. But we have to come together as a people, no matter where we are in the world. We don't all have to be Americans. We can just all have, we can all just be people that are tired of the system that's totally pwned. It's not for you, it's for themselves. They have something called DOMS, deep underground military bunkers for them to survive. They're not going to let you come down there with them when the, when the nuclear warheads come a, come a blasting away. They'll be safe. Don't, don't worry about the government. They'll be safe. I know, I know how much you're worried about the government being safe. They'll be safe. So I would say if you haven't started preparing, and I would say build your own bunker. Because, you know, a lot of people say that in a big disaster, they're just going to die anyway. So why do anything? But then you'll be stuck if you survive, won't you? Because everything will be destroyed. And you'll be reliant on people that have prepared. And that'll basically make you their slave if they'll even allow you. Because they probably already have, by that time, any prepper already has accepted the maximum capacity they can. They can't help everybody. So it's going to be sad to turn people away after some kind of horrible disaster. Be prepared. Take a note from history. And remember that history repeats itself. And the reason it's written down is so that maybe we won't repeat it. I see a lot of repetition of history. I don't know if you've noticed or not. It's like deja vu all over again. All you gotta do is watch the news. CNN. CBS. Yeah, like I can see the BS when I watch that channel. And um, so, you know, people are indoctrinated and that's all they believe. And then when reality hits them, it's like, what? Oh yeah, I really didn't know that. I was just allowing myself to be blue pilled. You know, I always wonder what would happen if you mixed a blue pill with a red pill, you know? Like the movie The Matrix. What if you what if you just took like both the pills at once? What would happen? Oh boy. So if you want to be red pill, you're gonna be scared by certain things, but it's just like seeing a curve ahead sign. You don't have to be scared of it. You have to use your brakes. Slow down and look for the danger ahead. And this is a wake-up call. You know, speaking of wake-up calls, I don't have my internet working right now. It's like sometimes the internet just cuts off. So if I did have...